So when we had launched this EC2 instance, we didn't actually encrypt the root volume, okay? And so if you were to launch an instance, and I just want to uh, quickly just show you uh, what I'm talking about here. Um, and we go to storage here. Um, we just didn't, we didn't go down here and select this, all right? So let's say we had to retroactively apply encryption. Well, it's not as easy as just a drop down here. We have to go through a bunch of steps, but we definitely need to know how to do this, okay? So how would we go about that? Well, we go to uh, volumes on the left-hand side here, and we'd find our running volume. So here is the volume uh, that uh, we want to encrypt that is unencrypted. And so what we do is we would first create a snapshot of it, okay? And so I would say, um, we'll say my volume, okay? And we'll go ahead and create that snapshot, and we'll go back here. And we're just gonna wait uh, for this um, snapshot to complete. It's gonna take a little bit of time here, um, but once it comes back here, we'll move on to the next step. So our progress is at now at 100%, and we can see that this uh, snapshot is unencrypted, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to actions at the top here, uh, make a copy of the snapshot, and this is where we're gonna have the ability to apply encryption, all right? And we're just gonna use the default KMS key here, uh, which is a uh, pretty good default to use. And we're gonna hit copy, and that's going to now uh, initiate a uh, copy here. And so we'll just visit our snapshots page, and we're now we're just gonna wait for uh, this um, to create our copy. So our progress is at 100%. It's encrypted, even though it says pending and 0% uh, down there. Sometimes if you hit refresh, that will uh, 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 just get your interface up to date here. I'm just gonna turn this off here so you can see that we have uh, our volume here and then we have our, um, our snapshot there. I don't really like the name of the description. I wonder if I can change that. Uh, no, so that's fine though. But um, anyway, we now have our unencrypted and our encrypted volume. So if we wanted to um, have this encrypted one launch, um, all we're going to have to do here is uh, launch this EC2, or sorry, create a uh, an image uh, from this volume here. So I'm just going to hit create image. And um, this is going to create an image from our EBS snapshot. Okay, so that's going to be our AMI. And I'm just gonna say uh, my server here, okay. And uh, yeah, this all looks good to me. And we'll just go ahead and hit create. All right, and we'll click through here to our AMI. And so uh, we're just going to wait here. Actually, I think it's instantly created. So our AMI is ready to launch, okay. So if we want to now have our server um, with a version that is encrypted, we can just go ahead here and launch a new instance. It's gonna pull up our big interface here and we'll just quickly go through it. So T2 Micro is good. Um, we have one instance, we're gonna drop down to our um, our EC2 role here. We're gonna to have to, again, copy our startup script here, okay? Um, actually, I guess not because if we if we created a snapshot of our instance, this would already be installed, so we don't have to do that again. So that's good. And then we'll go to our storage, and there is our encrypted volume. Okay, we'll go to your security groups, and we're just going to select that existing one there. And then we're going to go to review, and we're going to launch. Okay, and we're going to choose the existing one. So let's say launch instance. Okay. And we'll go back here. And uh, if we just check box off here, we're gonna actually have two instances running. You can see I have a few terminated ones. Those are just old ones there. But this is the one we have running here. So uh, once this is running, uh, we'll have this here and we'll just double check to make sure it's working. But uh, we'll talk about you know how do we manage um, launching multiple instances here next, okay?